Hey there, it's Eric Evanstead with bootstrapbizgrowth.com and in this video I'm going to tell you about a really great tool for entrepreneurs and this is going to be a tool that's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration and the tool is called LastPass. There's two things that LastPass does that I think are very, very helpful for entrepreneurs and it's a reason why this is a must-have tool in my mind. Number one, it saves all of your passwords. So if you're an entrepreneur, you probably have 50, 60, 70 different websites where you have login information. Don't worry about re remembering this anymore. With LastPass, you create one password, you log into LastPass, and LastPass saves all of your passwords for other sites in an encrypted vault. So once you're logged into LastPass, you just go to any other website that you have an account with, and LastPass will automatically fill in your username and password. This is very, very helpful because, again, you're not going to have to remember all those passwords. You just remember that one master password for LastPass. The second thing that LastPass does that's really helpful is it allows you to give other people access to your accounts on other websites. So, for example, let's say I have a website platform. So I build websites in my other business. I have a web design company. I build websites on there. I have a virtual assistant web designer. So let's say I want to give her access to the web design platform. I can do that with LastPass without actually sharing my password. So what I would do is I would just have her set up her own LastPass account. And then with that, I can share my login information with her in an encrypted manner. So she goes to my website platform, she clicks the login, and the username and password will automatically fill in for her. So all she has to do is just hit login and she is in the website platform. So you can do this with any website that you can you have. You can do it with your social media profiles if you want to give somebody access to that so they can manage it. This is really helpful and completely secure it. At any time you can revoke their permissions to any given website too. So that, that gives you some security benefits uh, in case something goes wrong with that employee um, and you can't trust them anymore or you end up firing them or they leave for any reason. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dive into a little quick tech tutorial video and I'm gonna show you how to use LastPass. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I think you're gonna find really helpful. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to lastpass.com and you want to sign up for their free account. Their free plan is going to work perfectly fine. It's going to allow you to do everything that I'm showing you how to do in this video. Once you sign up with that free account, uh, it's going to ask you to download a browser extension. So a browser extension looks like this. They have it for all your major browsers, so it doesn't matter what browser you use. And once you do that, you're going to see the little LastPass icon up here. So I'm using Chrome. That's where I see it. Your browser might be different. And what I do now is I'm going to click LastPass, and it's going to ask me to enter in the email and master password that I set up when I set up my account. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click Login, and now it turns red, so that means that I'm logged into LastPass. So now if I were to go to a website where I have an account, here's one that I'll just show you. If I go to Insightly, which I know I have an account set up with, I'll go click Login. And since I'm already logged into LastPass up here, when I go to the sign-in fields, I'll see this little notification here. I'm going to click that once, and you'll see it pop up. So I'm going to click that, and now you see my email address and password has automatically been entered in, and that's because I'm logged into LastPass. So then I would hit Login, and I'm in my account. So if you are just getting started, you need to first add all of your accounts into your LastPass. So you need to save your uh, login information into your LastPass vault. And to do that, you're just going to have to go to each of those sites and log in once. So you're going to enter in your username and password, log in, and when you do that, you're going to get a little notification from LastPass that says, would you like us to save this uh, username and password? You click yes. And once you click yes, that password information will be added to your secure LastPass vault. And you'll never have to remember that password again to that website. So as you can see here, I have 200 plus uh, different websites that I use where I've saved my login information. That's all in my LastPass account and it's all highly encrypted and saved in there. So that's what you want to do is you want to slowly just start adding all of your websites into your LastPass account and then you'll never have to remember them again, and that's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration, testing out different password combinations, trying to get into all these accounts that you use all the time. 
The second thing that I want to show you is how to share a password with, say, a virtual assistant. So um, maybe you want to give access to your Facebook page to a virtual assistant so that they can go in and uh, create some posts for you. To do that, you're going to find the password in here. You're going to find the website. So we would come in here and try to find Facebook. Uh, I'll just use this as an example, though. You're going to hover over it, and there's this little button that says share. You're going to click that, and you're just going to type in the email address that your person that you're sharing this with used to set up their free LastPass account. So keep in mind that anybody that you're sharing password information with, they'll have to sign up for their own LastPass account. Once they do that, just have them send you the email address that they used to sign up, and then you would come in here and you would type in their email address and hit share. You will want to leave this unchecked. This is says allow recipient to view password. We'll leave that unchecked because we want to keep the password hidden from them. We want to keep it encrypted so that they can't see what it is. That way, when they go to a website, say Facebook in this example, they'll click login and your username and password will be automatically added into the username and password field, but they'll be hidden so that they can't see it. So as you can see, it's really simple to use. Once you share a password with somebody, you can come into the sharing center and you can see you're shared with others and you can easily revoke those uh, sharing privileges with somebody. So that is very helpful in case, again, you need to fire somebody or they leave. Uh, you can always pull away that login information from their account. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you uh, go out, set up your free LastPass account. It's really easy to get started. Uh, once you dive in and just play around with it for a couple minutes, you're going to see how easy it is and it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. So go get started. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up down below. Share it on the interwebs with anybody else that you think might uh, find some value from this. And I would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are putting out all kinds of great content for entrepreneurs that want to grow their business on a budget. We talk about affordable marketing strategies that work, outsourcing, tech tips, tutorials, things like this video where we try to make your life easier as an entrepreneur. So I hope you subscribe to the channel, hit that big red button down below. And then lastly, I just want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. We'll see you next time.